Good afternoon, everyone, and good evening sa mga taga-Pilipinas. At uh, ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon, we are going to open a new series on Building in the Spirit. Na turo na natin ito nung una pa but in a different perspective. But now we are going to tackle again about building in the Spirit, why we need to build in the Spirit, what is building in the Spirit, what is the purpose what are the purpose of building in the spirit? But before going into this series of building in the spirit, let us all listen to Sam as she is going to share what she really understands about the kingdom, the church kingdom, na magma manifest on the ground. Because yung sinabi ko nga na kailangan magkaroon tayo ng equalization kasi tayo ay mga builders in the spirit, right? Our ultimate mandate is to really be, become, be like Christ. So kailangan builder in the spirit tayo, mga builders in the spirit. Because builders of, in the spirit are workforce in the kingdom, church kingdom, workforce. Kaya walang tamad. Pag sinabing builder in the spirit, walang tamad. Walang tatamad-tamad. Lahat nagbibuild, lahat nagtatrabaho. In their own way, in the, according to graces, according to um, the calling, the place of assignment, pero pag pinagdugtong-dugtong, dimension of the kingdom ito na, na ibababa. Kaya kailangan may equalization. So titingnan natin, Saan na ba tayo nito at ano pa ang kailang, ano, paano tayo ma-accelerate to become effective, effective in building the kingdom of God on the ground? Because we are God's interface. Amen? We are God's interface. So, i-discuss natin yan mamaya. But before we go into this uh, sharing or uh, building the spirit series, let's listen to Samantha uh, about her understanding of the kingdom. So let's welcome her. Samantha, go, go, go. Hello, hello. <coughs> Excuse me. I might sneeze or cough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Moving on. I'm gonna talk about the understanding the Holy Spirit gave me. This, I wrote what I understood about the kingdom bef uh, after the day mommy asked me, Sam, may she share ka ba? I'll ask first. And then in the morning, this is what God gave me as an understanding. And I wrote it in the notebook, so I won't deviate. One, from what I wrote is that kingdom is kingdom. There's no fear of lack because Christ is there. So walang insecurities, you have boldness and confidence wherever you go. Wala kang poverty mentality. Yeah. All the all the sources because God is our source and Christ is there. As we receive Christ, God God sees us as his sons. Of course, you wouldn't abandon for example, if you're like a father, you wouldn't abandon your son just like that. For as God is our father, he he will provide everything we need even before we ask him. In the kingdom, the people are kingdom minded. As in the Bible, it says we are kings and priests, royal and regal. So when we are kingdom people, we are kingdom people. So we shouldn't think as slaves, as common people. If you saw like, ako, I grew up in Barbie movies. <laughs> I grew up with Barbie movies. If you watch Princess and the Pauper, you'll know the difference between a kingdom person and someone common. Yeah, Celestine and I watched. But yeah. Um, there's distinction between people who live in the kingdom, who's born as kingdom people, yeah. and people who are just common. As in the car, I remember mommy mentioning about Ate Joan sharing to her that it's not in our appearance. Oh, my corona shot, not corona, the virus, okay. My Anasha Tiara, oh, she's from the kingdom or such. My, as... We are Christ. Nakikita si Christ. It's not in the physical appearance, but it's in our character, Christ-likeness yeah. character. That yeah. is the stature that's built in us. So that's what 
people will see in the days to come, the distinction between the righteous and the wicked, wicked, the distinction between the godly and the ungodly. So in this season and time, we should really work out which are we because we, yeah. we cannot be mixture. Yeah. And in the kingdom, everyone has, or the king, the people there, has a heart for the people. The Basi God, he didn't create the world just for him. He didn't, he didn't create the world filled with robots, but he gave, he created us humans in his image and likeness. Amen. With the gift of free will. Mm -hmm. So we have the will to decide whether we will live in the kingdom as sons or we will be normal. Mm -hmm. Or it's up to us because God has shown his intention throughout the years from kahit hindi pa tayo born, if you read the Bible, God already has His plan for us, yung intention niya sa atin. Mm -hmm. But we have to make the decision. Hindi lang siya gagawa, but you have to part, we have to partner with Him. Yeah. So in the heart for the people, for the heart of the people, we have to decide what's best. For example, what we always do, governing prayer sa church natin. We pray that in every nation, every domain, every generation mm -hmm. will be aligned to the kingdom of God. If we just pray for like, Lord, I want a Ferrari, please. No, <laughs> we have to level up because what we pray for reflects who we are, what we behold, what we see is what we seek. So we need to pray for what is in God's heart. Hindi lang sa puso natin. For example, when we pray, we don't pray what we want. Instead, we should ask what God wants us to give, what God wants to give us. Yeah. You know? And in the kingdom, you'd see there are full of guards. If you'd seen like in documentaries, if you saw kingdom, maraming guards in every corner. Mm -hmm. So that's also in the case for us. Sa kingdom, dapat hindi tayo caught, caught unaware. Pag may impurity or pag may don't let the enemy steal the treasure in you that is keeping, <laughs> keeping, wait, <laughs> yeah, we should always be guarded in the truth. Sabi nga, my belt of truth, armor of the spirit, breastplate of righteousness. Palagi tayong guarded, safeguard, joke. <laughs> but yeah, we should always be on our guard following protocol that is righteousness, peacefulness, joyfulness. Yeah. Pag sinabi sa'yo, kingdom ka? But walang peace sa iyo. Kingdom ka ba? But walang joy sa iyo. Mm. So we should re-examine ourselves every day, every now and then. If we were, if we would see ourselves in the mirror, am I really kingdom? Am I kingdom minded? Is is how I spend my days like a kingdom person? Mm -hmm. So we really need to like think: Are we representing God accurately? Mm -hmm. Not just ourselves. Yes, we have to develop our skills. Yung personalities natin, we should like find it out. Ganon. But our identity is in Christ. Why look for someone else? Ganon. Rick. So yeah. The reason why God is forming us as kingdom people is to also benefit his people. Yung yeah. people outside the kingdom. Yeah. Why would Christ die for himself of course he'd die for the people that god created that is his sons and daughters that's why we should find our identity in him our calling in him sabi nga ni ate john in, in the kingdom everything is simple because we just follow what god says hear and obey it's nothing complicated sabi nga ni mommy glance um men just make it complicated because of that carnal mind we should always God already made everything simple, so we just need to ask, what is my calling, God? What is I need to do in this season and time, especially 2021, year of happenings? Imagine if everything happened already and yet we are in a position to prevail and to govern. Mm -hmm. So yun lang po, what I understood about the kingdom. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. We drink on it and we are being equalized. 
So maliwanag yung shiner ni Sam, yung dimension na naunawaan niya sa kingdom. The, 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 in the kingdom, it is so simple, but uh, it is the superior living where God uh, prepared us or the intention where God and why God created us is for us to be in His kingdom. Amen? So why, why settle for less? Kaya kung ngayon, confused pa tayo, something is wrong. May problema. So, uh, madil natin ito immediately. Kung sa mga panahon ngayon o sa mga oras na to confused pa tayo, which is the year of happenings, na uh, supernatural happenings is now occurring at di tayo nasa tamang posisyon, tayo ang mawawalan. Hindi ang hindi kung sino man ang mayroong expectation mula sa atin. So, we are going to pray, but before we are going to pray for <coughs> this uh, Select Arrow session, I would like to encourage everyone, Select Arrow, to really be on guard and be watchful kasi under attack ang generation nyo ng mga anxiety, ng mga wrong expectation. Ito yung ating sisirain ngayon dahil... Uh, ang your generation is bombarded by the wrong expectations from uh, parents from other institution that is not na hindi man naman dapat na doon tayo pumosisyon or doon kayo pumosisyon or doon silang i-please para ma-compromise kung sino talaga ikaw kaya may confusion kaya mayroon ng mga anxiety mayroon ng parang mga kumukulo sa loob nyo na mga nararamdaman kayo, it's a spirit. Ang, ang nangyayari kasi, mayroon kayong mga natanggap na mga expectation, others from the parents, from the father, from the mother, from the peers, from the classmates, from the schools, wrong expectation na pag minute nyo ang expectation nila, hindi naman kayo yon kayo ang nalalagay sa, uh, ano to? Nagigitna, nagigitna ang ba kayo? You are on a... Wait, there is a term about it. In a colliding waves and the other is you are caught on... Pag nasa war? Crossfire. Nasa crossfire. Halimbawa, magbibigay ako ng senaryo, pero I don't know the case, but this is what just I, we pick up in the spirit. That's I pick up in the spirit when Pastor Jerry and I prayed this morning about uh, your generation. Ganito ang nangyayari. Halimbawa, ang may expectation kayo sa magulang. May mga expectation ng magulang sa inyo. Tapos ipupush kayo na gawin ito. Pero hindi naman yun ang grace nyo. Hindi naman yun according to your mandate. Hindi naman according to what you have received from the Lord. It takes it takes a discerning spirit and a, and a stature of Christ to really overcome that kind of expectation. Kasi may confusion. Paano ko po i-honor? Eh, mami ko po ang nagsasabi ng ganun. O kaya ang daddy ko po ang nagsasabi ng ganun. O kaya people above me ang nagpo-push me na gawin ito. Pero hindi naman yun na natanggap po kay Lord. O hindi naman yun ang grace ko. Kaya trying hard ka. Kasi when you do something that is beyond or uh, uh, outside from your grace, you... you Obvious na trying hard ka. So, hindi, kaya hindi nagiging genuine kasi na fake ito sa dating ng tao. So, uh, don't, don't be uh, caught on crossfire. Paano po ito i-handle na confusion or anxiety? I really sense in my spirit a strong anxiety about your generation that this anxiety can really derail, can really derail or dislodge you from uh, putting yourself in a right position where God is moving right now. So is the rise up higher in such a way that the stature and the dimension of Christ grow and you have the strength to say no to this expectation and you have to say uh, no in the spirit, huh? in the spirit ang battle. Do not face it head on, flesh to flesh. Because nothing should be win. Ikaw, ikaw tayo lagi ang talo pag sa flesh natin ito hinandel. In the spirit, we should really rise up in the spirit. So, do not meet any wrong expectation from you because it puts you into a colliding wave and in a confusion and, and, and mapiprimature yung result na dapat 
uh, result sana na according to your grace, result sana na according to your mandate, result sana na according to your to the skills that you, which you have developed, pero na na, na pretty mature ito kasi hindi pa sa tamang panahon because nag ano ka lang nag uh, what is that nag response ka lang sa expectation sa iyo kasi may mga tao na ah, dapat ganito pag edad mo ganito uh, gan uh, ito may mga tatay din may mga parents din may mga daddy din mommy din na ah. oh ako nung gan ako nung panahon nakaganito na ako dapat nagkaganyan ka na rin dapat ganito na rin pag naglalagay pag may mga naririnig kayong ganitong expectation it's a law that is beyond the, the kingdom of god learn how to rise up from this kind of expectation kasi ito yung nagdadala sa inyo sa anxiousness sa very stressful situation ito yung nagdadala sa inyo sa very um, very unsure situation kaya nagbo-blurred kaya you can never ascend and descend into a portal because you your mind become blurry because of this kind of spirit so we need to demolish this right now it's a spirit it's a spirit that trying to trying to put a load on the on your generation kasi kayo ng generation ang binibuild ngayon ni Lord binibuild ni Lord patuloy na accelerate ang ina-accelerate ang generation nyo na ma-build para ang interfacing natin sa Panginoon ay accelerated din sa sa ground uh, i hope i am clear with this remember our battle is not against flesh and blood it is not about daddy it's not about mommy it's not about tatay or nanay or people above us or it's the is the system it's the frequency of this world na competition it's the frequency of the carnal thinking that is na mixture ang carry natin kaya ito ang, ang sirain natin sa umagang ito sa mga spirito natin sa mga buhay natin na hindi tayo under attack every moment every night every day pag bangon na lang nang, sa umaga ay may ganito ng frequency naka find you ng spirit mo sa ganitong frequency na wrong wrong expectation doon mo gusto imit ang demand ng may ng taong mayroong expectation from you so ang ang ituturo sa atin ni Lord ititrain tayo ni Lord sa na ma-equip tayo paano natin matutunan na hindi mag-operate to this or ma-find you ng spirit natin to this frequency of this world yung competition na kailangan ginawa itong na ganito dapat mas maganda ang gawin ko it's not it's not that it's not the operational dynamic of the kingdom it's not the operational dynamic of the kingdom because tayo ang operational dynamic natin is in the spirit hearing and obeying kaya nga i-accelerate natin i-fortify natin ang relationship natin sa holy spirit the way we hear the way we listen to the holy spirit's voice and by his word doon ang ating ang ating next and line na mag-rise up tayo pagkagising sa umaga yes holy spirit ano po ang priority kong gagawin ngayon kung may given word na yun na yun build up build up build up hindi na yung mga bagay na nakasanayan natin dati pa baguhin na natin kasi grabe ang acceleration ng time nararamdaman nyo ba ang timing ngayon napaka-iksi parang napaka-iksi parang yung 24 hours kulang na kulang sa mga pinagagawa sa mga dapat natin gawin e kung dinagdagan mo pa ng mga dati mong ginagawa na sinabihan na tayo ng ng word ni Lord, sinabihan na tayo ng banal na spirito ng old ways ay hindi na yun idadagdag ngayon sa new ways. Ang ginagawa kasi ng iba ngayon, nalaman na na ito ang new ways, kumukuha pa rin doon sa part ng old ways, kaya mixture pa rin. So, uh, maging ano tayo, maging vigilant at maging o uh, deliberate tayo. So ang new ways, pag sinabing new ways, ano ang pinagagawa ng Holy Spirit sa iyo specifically on that day, on that season. 'Yun ang new way. Live on it, act on it, think on it. Huwag ka nang papabombard doon sa sabi kasi ganito daw ang gagawin ko eh. Lakong labas naman sa pinagagawa ng Holy Spirit sa iyo. You need to choose. You need to choose. Ay baka may nagka, hindi po ba yung dishonor? Sinabi ko na nga sa inyo noon. Because uh, sa different perspective, mayroon ng pagkakaiba. Halimbawa, between parents and you is about a negotiation with honor. 
to negotiate with honor so that you will receive your freedom to express yourself as kingdom person. Mahirap kasi, alam nyo ba ang nakita ako sa spirit ko, gaping-gapi kayo, parang nakatali ang generation nyo doon sa mga expectation ng mga old thinking pattern. Nakatali ang generation nyo sa expectation ng mga carnal thought pattern ng mga ibang magulang. Which is hindi, kasi we should uh, work with the Holy Spirit. Ito ngayon ang season natin. We should work, partner, pace with the Holy Spirit. That, uh, pag sa Holy Spirit, there is freedom, di ba? Where there is the presence of God, there is freedom. Pag di ka nakakaramdam ng freedom, ibig sabihin, wala doon ang presence ni Lord. So pag walang presence ni Lord, ibig sabihin, wala kang natatanggap na word. Pero pag may natanggap tayong word, the presence of God is there and then you have freedom. Kasi pag dinumisisyon tayo in line to the word, nakakalaya tayo. Kaya tayo hindi, maka, hindi makalaya kasi nandyan ang word, nandyan ang Holy Spirit. ba diba? pa Sinabi na natin, pag may word, nandyan ang Holy Spirit, nandyan ang presence ni Lord. Ililinga lang natin ang sarili natin doon. I-obey lang natin ang word ni Lord. Ganun lang kabilis. Pag luminya ka doon sa word ni Lord, free ka na from the old. Bakit po hindi po ako makalaya-laya kasi nahirapan ka mag-decide ng kung ano ang tama? Bakit nahirapan ka mag-decide ng kung ano ang tama? Kasi na-bandage doon sa kung ano ang past na wrong. So yun ang sisirain natin ngayon. It's a spirit's is a spirit and sometimes it's in the mind in the pathway of your mind sirain natin yan sa pathway ng iyong kaisipan na wrong ways uh, wrong expectation ng mga uh, ibang mga kasama natin kung saan tayo connected hindi iyon ang nakakabuti kaya parang pakiramdam nyo sikip na sikip na ang dip dip nyo hindi mo alam bakit parang sikip na sikip na ang dip parang magkakasakit ka na pero uh, wala ka naman talagang sakit pero mayroon ka ng parang kumukulo uh, hindi mo na maintindihan kung kumukulo ang dip dip o du dumadagundong ang dip dip mo may kumukulo sa tiyan mo may gumugulo sa kaisipan mo it's, it's a spirit that is the frequency of this world Anong klaseng espiritu yon? Anxiety, insecurity, competition, worldliness. It's it's dirty thing. So makalaya tayo diyan ngayon. Makalaya tayo diyan ngayon kasi ang uh, ang generation nyo kailangan maging clean, pure and uncontaminated so that we can effectively interface with God so that what God's intention on the earth ay isa tayo privilege na and favor na makaka uh, na isa tayo sa instrumento na gagamitin ni Lord ng kanyang intention. In, domain, in the domain which God position us to be. So, we need to rise up to a whole new level today, select arrow, so that the equalization of the church ay ma-accelerate. Hindi tayo slow pace. Palagang a strong pacing ngayon. May acceleration. Mabilis. Mabilisan. Kung last Saturday ay uh, nagbago ka, ngayong Saturday may, may kailangan tayong baguhin na 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 access ng spirit natin kasi ang daming nang na-download sa spirit natin ang problema hindi ito na ma-match ng ating mga action because our mind is bombarded by the wrong thing lalo kung babad kayo sa social media at hindi kayo marunong mag-close ng spirit nyo at uh, kung marunong mang mag-close ng spirit nyo hindi nyo train ang mind nyo may problema talaga kasi kahit na marunong Mag, marunong tayo mag-close ng spirit natin na hindi tayo makontamina sa mga o hindi maka-line up o hindi maka-fine-tune ang frequency, spiritual frequency natin to the frequency of this world. Pero kung untrained ang mind natin, still nakaka-pick up tayo ang mind natin na napupunta pa rin doon sa pag-ooperate ng kung ano ang mali. Kaya ito ngayon ay samo ko sa bawat isa select arrow na ito ang ating uh, sirain ngayon. Yung pagiging uh, parang natalian kayo, parang natalian ka na mayroong kang mga gustong-gustong gawin pero di mo magawa kasi na-bandage ka doon sa wrong expectation from you. It's, it's, not, it's not kingdom. Pag hindi ka, walang peace, walang joy, pag parang latang-lata ka lagi, 
di ba, the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Saan ang, ang hugot ng joy ay pag may kapayapaan. Kaya wala kang joy kasi walang kapayapaan. Kaya walang kapayapaan kasi hindi nasa righteousness. Ang righteousness, pag luminya tayo sa word, pag luminya tayo sa so what is the culture of the kingdom, holiness and righteousness, magbubunga ito sa atin ng kapayapaan, peace. At ang kapayapaan, ang result nito sa atin ay kagalakan. At ang kagalakan, ang result nito sa atin ay kalakasan. Kalakasan. Kaya kahit na meron ng karamdaman ang katawan, pero ang espiritu buong-buo, malinis, <coughs> squeaky clean, pure, strong, and uncontaminated, di ba lumili niya ang katawan? Lumili niya ang katawan. Kasi ang spirit, doon ang life. Sa spirit, doon ang peace. Sa spirit, doon ang katuwiran. Doon ang buhay. So, siya ang nagbibigay buhay sa ating uh, flesh and blood. So, in, it's in the spirit. So, ang dynamic natin ngayon ay kailangan maliwanag ito sa atin. So, can we pray right now? May natanggap tayong understanding? Excuse me. Na hindi tayo magpapa mag magdudwell doon sa mga wrong expectation. Saan tayo? Expectation ni Lord ang ating imimit. God's expectation para ang validation natin uh, mula sa Lord, hindi mula hindi sa tao. Kasi eh, itama na natin ito. Itama na natin ito. Do not, sabi ko nga, do not please people, honor and respect people. But do not please them. Na in such a way that you you are about uh, na i-compromise mo na yung conviction mo, i-compromise mo na yung carry mo. Hindi doon. So we really need to be very strong and be vigilant about these things. Okay, let's all pray right now. Father, we thank you so much for what you are about to do in the life of Select Arrow. Select arrows that you have handpicked, Lord God, to be downloaded with the materials which is superior, eternal, <clears throat> a material that is timeless, O oh Lord God, that is going to be built on the ground as your kingdom. Lord, we thank you so much that as you are raising the select arrows as builders in the spirit, a workforce of the kingdom, an army that is about to protect the kingdom, we believe, Lord God, that you are the one that is continually uh, allowing us, causing us to rise up higher and higher and higher to pace with the Holy Spirit's move in this hour and this season. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are breaking right now every anxiety, every anxiousness, oh Lord God, in every spirit spirit of those who are listening to this uh, meetups in Jesus mighty name we break every yoke of bondage of worldliness in the name of Jesus every unsure and uh, uh, anxiety and uh, fear oh Lord God fear of the future in Jesus name we are breaking it right now and declaring forth right now oh Lord God that every spiritual frequency of the select arrows oh Lord God and of, of those who are listening to this video Lord we believe Lord God that the, the spirit of us are, are already fine tuned to the frequency of heaven oh Lord God to the divine frequency which we are going to be fine tuned completely in the name of Jesus the frequency of this world we are cutting it off right now from our spirit dimension in the name of Jesus and we are breaking right now oh Lord God every yoke of bondage everything oh Lord God that make us confused in Jesus mighty name we are pulling down right now every thing or every thought oh Lord in our, the pathways of our mind and our pathways of our thinking pattern Lord God that is uh, connected to our wrong past, connected to our wrong uh, thing, oh Lord God, wrong thoughts, pattern in the name of Jesus. We pull it down right now and we break it in Jesus' mighty name. And we're declaring that we are free in Jesus' name, free in, the, in Jesus' name. For there is now therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And where there is the presence of God, there is liberty in, the, in Jesus' name. We're breaking every yoke of bondage in Jesus' mighty name. 
to everyone in Jesus name we break it now we break it break it break it break it now in Jesus name oh Lord we are rebuking every wrong expectation oh Lord that from us that is not according to the kingdom mandate that we have that is not according to the graces that you have been given oh Lord God that is not according to the skills which you would like or would you want us to develop and to hone in Jesus mighty name oh Lord God every expectation outside from the skill set that you have given unto us oh Lord that you've been allowing us to uh, uh, fortify or to develop oh Lord God we are rebuking this wrong expectation in the name of Jesus an expectation oh Lord God of competition an expectation of carnality an expectation of worldliness an expectation of out of insecurity an expectation of flesh oh Lord God of self-centeredness we break it in Jesus name now 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 live in Jesus name live in the name of Jesus now in the name of Jesus everyone should line up to the to the kingdom mandate everyone should line up to the kingdom principles righteousness holiness peacefulness and joyfulness in the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus everyone should be very strong in the spirit vigilant and watchful not to be derailed not to be disliked nor be sabotaged by anything that any that or any wrong thought pattern in the name of Jesus oh I prophesy right now so let our rise up to a whole new level pace with the Holy Spirit be full of the Holy Ghost every day of your life and receive the, the fullness of of God which have been downloaded and uh, have been intended to be downloaded unto you every day of your life and Lord we thank you so much oh Lord God that everyone would line up oh Lord God to what the Holy Spirit is doing to the kingdom we're taking back time that was been lost in the name of Jesus every defect in our character must be completely changed and restored in the name of Jesus so that nothing shall be lost oh Lord God nothing shall be lost in Jesus name we take back time now we take back time we take back every health in the name of Jesus we take back every future every future oh Lord every mandate every purpose every destiny in the name of Jesus we're taking it back now now we take it back oh Lord we can cross over oh Lord God we can cross over with you Lord God because we are going to take over in the name of Jesus by the word and by the Holy Spirit we are going to take over oh Lord God to become an effective and accurate interface of the living God through the power of his word and by the Holy Spirit on the ground in the name of Jesus we thank you Lord God for the deliverance we thank you Lord God for healing us oh Lord God we thank you for the understanding oh Lord let the spirit of understanding be our portion oh Lord God let the spirit of understanding become our portion become the select our, our portion oh Lord God that they, they would receive freedom in the Holy Ghost oh Lord in Jesus name oh thank you so much Lord God thank you for healing us thank you that no more confusion at all oh Lord God no more anxiousness oh Lord God heal everyone oh Lord God heal everyone oh Lord God oh everyone Lord receive your healing receive your healing select arrow healing in the mind healing in the tongue every every healing that you need receive it right now receive receive it right now oh healing oh Lord God he healing Lord God in Jesus name thank you that you are the one that is a great healer who is the great healer receive it right now receive lord thank you for the opening our listening ear and hearing ear oh lord god and seeing eyes so that we can uh, be able to see and hear what you are saying oh lord god upon the church upon the kingdom in the name of jesus so that we can be equalized oh lord god in the in the church kingdom lord we will never left behind lord god but we are going to be equalized according to the placing of the holy spirit Oh, we thank you so much, Lord God, that as builders in the Spirit, Lord God, we can receive this grace, oh Lord God, oh, with the spirit of understanding, and let the prophetic grace, oh Lord God, abound in each select arrow in the name of Jesus, that they will learn how to access this grace, oh Lord God, that was been secured for us in the name of Jesus by our forefathers. So oh, we thank you, Lord God, for opening the portal, oh Lord God. Let the open heaven, oh Lord God, be our portion right now. 
in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God, for the freedom, for the healing. We thank you, Lord God, for your presence in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. <coughs> okay. Are we delivered? Amen. Receive the healing. Receive it. Water break. So, very crucial ang timing natin. If the 2021 is the year of happenings, we should position ourselves na partaker tayo nitong mga supernatural happenings. Na mga miraculous thing na magiging very ordinary na lang sa atin ang mga miracles, signs, wonders. <clears throat> Na, na hindi na tayo nagugulat kasi yun na ang nakasanayan natin. Hindi na ba tayo gulat na gulat? Wow! Miraculously! Ibig sabihin, pag gulat na gulat pa rin tayo, hindi pa yun ang nakasanayan natin. So, we should live in the, in the uh, dimension that ang mga signs, wonders, and <clears throat> miracles are so ordinary to us because we are living in Him, in heaven, while on the earth. <clears throat> Kaya ordinary na lang sa atin itong mga miraculous things na nangyayari. So doon, it must be our portion. That's, that must be our portion, select arrow. Hindi na tayo nagugulat sa mga supernatural kasi <clears throat> we're already living in that place. <clears throat> of supernatural and <clears throat> extraordinary living. So, <clears throat> doon tayo dapat. Kaya, i-migrate na natin ang ating mga kaisipan. Can we do it? <clears throat> Can we do it? Select our own to migrate our thought pattern that is no longer on the carnal, on the natural, <clears throat> on the earthly, but in the heavenly. So, to live in heaven while on the earth is to <clears throat> set our mind on things above which is <coughs> godly and uh, spiritual, supernatural, dynamic. Yun dapat. Kasi ang Panginoon ngayon is accelerating na mabuild talaga, makabuild siya ng workforce, na makabuild ng builders in the spirit. So what a privilege. Actually, privilege natin ito select arrow. Hindi ito, hindi si Lord ang may utang na loob sa atin. Prebelehiyo ito natin, favor ito sa atin. Kaya wala tayong may pagmamalaki ni konte. Wala tayong dapat ipagmalaki. Kaya nga ang arrogance walang place sa kingdom. Kasi privilege lang ang mapunta at, at ang ipiliin tayo ni Lord na at, at pili pinili natin ang intention ni Lord ang mabuild sa atin. It is it's just a privilege and a favor for us to become a part of His kingdom. Kaya hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng entitlement mentality. Hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng arrogant spirit. These things, this is kind of spirit has no place in the kingdom, in the Lord's kingdom. Kaya titingnan natin ang mindset natin Prebelehiyo lang, Panginoon, salamat po sa prebelehiyo at favor na pinagkalob niyo po sa akin na maging kabahagi po ako nitong tinatayo niyo pong kingdom sa lupa. Kasi na ngayon, sa dimension pa ang kingdom. Ibig sabihin, the kingdom of God is already set and done. Pero nandun pa yun sa spiritual realm. Nakukuha niyo ba ako? Nasa spiritual realm pa ito. Kaya nga ikaw at ako ay kailangan patuloy magpahubog sa banal na spirito at sa kanyang salita para itong kingdom na ito maibaba sa lupa kasi nangangailangan si Lord ng partner na nakakita at naka-access nito doon sa spiritual dimension. Na anong portion, anong, anong measure, anong portion ang nakita mo doon, yun ang ibababa natin by the word. By our living, by the way we live, yun ang ibababa natin. Kaya pag pinagdugtong-dugtong ito, pag na-equalize tayo, di ba kingdom ang nababa? <clears throat> Sa lupa. So what a privilege na ikaw at ako ay naging daanan, naging portal or sabihin na natin pathway from heaven to earth of what God is building on the earth, on the ground. 
a privilege. Kaya hindi tayo pwede magkaroon ng entitlement mentality. Hindi tayo pwede maging casual. Kasi the moment we become casual, it can disqualify us from being a kingdom person. So, nakikita nyo ba yung urgency? Kingdom is still in the dimension and the fullness. Tapos na ito noon. Kaya nga ang panalangin, di ba? Our Father who is in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Tapos na doon sa langit ibababa lang ng mga nakakaakyat at baba sa kalangitan, sa spirit dimension. Kaya si kapi natin na dito tayo, mag, ito ang ating <clears throat> lalakaran. We can ascend and descend in the portal of heaven, the pathways of heaven, para itong kingdom na ito na natapos, natapos na sa spiritual realm ay maibaba sa lupa sa pamamagitan mo at sa pamamagitan ko. So what a privilege we have. But there is such a price to be paid for. Ito yung buhay natin. Kailangan swallowed by the kingdom mandate. Kailangan uh, hindi tayo casual sa lahat ng bagay. Spiritual, marunong tayo magbasa ng mga spiritual na bagay. So, ang dulo ng ating paghuhubog is ikaw at ako ay maging accurate builders in the spirit. Ang ating ituturo ngayon ay galing ito sa manual ni Dr. Jonathan David, ni Papa Jonathan David. Siniris ito ni Papa Lo at ni Mama La sa tribe. Year, matagal na po, matagal na to siniris ng... Uh, building in the spirit because the grace that the tribe has is to be a builders in the spirit. Kaya nga, ito yung grace na nanalaytay sa atin. Hindi mo pwede sabihin, ay, hindi man niyang grace ko kasi. So, ibig sabihin, pag hindi mo to grace, hindi ka connected. But the moment you are accurately connected to, our, to this dimension, to, our, to us, to the, to the church, through us, Ibig sabihin, ito ang grace, ito yung DNA na meron tayo. Ito yung grace na nananalaytay. Kaya we cannot say that hindi ako mag-function as builder in the spirit kasi hindi naman yan ang grace ko. The moment you say that, ibig sabihin, you are not accurately connected to this grace. Okay? So, but when you are accurately connected to the church, okay, specifically GH tribe, Since this grace was been secured for us, ito yung grace mo, builder in the spirit. Titingnan natin, ano ba talaga ang builders in the spirit? So according to Dr. Jonathan David, Papa Jonathan David, ito ay ang iba nito ay pinaraphrase ko lang kasi siyempre to the highest level ang dimension niya. Siyempre, itong meaning na iba dito is to my perspective. In my little knowledge of uh And my little understanding about building the spirit, na yun din ang gusto kong ma-impart sa inyo kasi I cannot teach what I don't have. I cannot impart what I, I don't have. I can only impart what I already have and live on it. Kasi yun yung power, yun yung life. Okay? So building in the spirit is a spiritual ability <clears throat> released upon a man to access and penetrate into the spiritual world or, or realm. Okay, it is our it, building in the spirit is a spiritual ability released upon a man to access and penetrate into the spiritual world and open the heavens above him for earthly function. So I, I can repeat it. Building in the spirit is a spiritual ability released upon a man to access and penetrate into the spiritual world or spiritual realm and open the heavens above him for earthly function. What a privilege we have. Did you receive this? Okay. Builder in the spirit, next meaning. Builder in the spirit is a man 
Oh, a man that has supernatural ability to rise up in the spirit world. A man that has supernatural ability to rise up in the spirit world, to get heavens open above him, so that he will always has resources or material and connection. Okay, ulitin ko. A man that has supernatural ability to rise up in the spirit world or realm to get heavens open above him so that he always he will always has resources or material and connection to live and function and minister on earth out of heaven's life power and grace okay ulitin ko ulit builder in the spirit is a man that has supernatural ability to rise up in the spirit world to get heavens open above him so that he will always has resources or material and connection to live and function and minister on earth out of heaven's life power and grace not out of self and worldliness or carnality nuggets or kailangan ko pang ulitin okay na Oh, for sure, ulitin ko ulit. So, num <clears throat> number one meaning, it is a spiritual ability released upon a man to access and penetrate into the spiritual world and open the heavens above him for earthly function. Next, a man, oh, man that has supernatural ability to rise up in the spirit world to get heavens open above him so that he will always has resources or material and connection to live and function and minister on earth out of heaven's life, heaven's power, heaven's grace, not, not out of self and worldliness or carnality, nor carnality. Okay, gets. So, if we do not have tatandaan, ibig lang sabihin, i-paraphrase natin yung dalawang yon. If we do not have heaven's materials or resources, we supply from ourselves. And it is very dangerous because we can never build the kingdom by self. By the self. By the world. Nor by the carnality of thinking. Ano lang, Ano lang makakabuild sa kingdom? Through the power of the Holy Spirit by the word of God that we are accessing in the heavenly places. So if we don't have heaven's materials, heaven's grace, heaven's power, uh, it means we are supplying the, that we are supplying from ourselves. So we must connect accurately to the source who gives unlimited and a continual supply. Who is God? Who is that source? God. Nagbibigay siya. Unlimited source tayo. Unlimited, a continual ang, a flow ng supply when we are accurately connected to the God of heaven. So let us not function, operate, or minister with just the anointing within the self. Okay? Within our, yourself, within myself. <clears throat> or within us, we will be depleted and be discouraged and become insecure in the days to come if we are operating in this kind of dynamic. So remember, Jesus, uh, naalala nyo yung account na tunaturo, na pag-aralan na natin ito, si Panginoong Jesus, nung kailangan niyang dumaan sa Samaria, kung matatandaan nyo, dyan sa John chapter 4, Ang sabi niya dyan, he needs to go through Samaria. Parang naintrig naman ako nung sinabi yun ni Lord. Okay, buksan natin. Acts, ay, John chapter 4. 
John chapter 4. Uh, John chapter 4 verse 4 nakalagay. Pero uh, before that the Pharisee the Pharisees heard that Jesus was gaining and baptizing more disciples than John although in fact it was not Jesus who baptized but his disciples. When the Lord learned of his, of this he left Judea and went back once more to Galilee. So, so verse, verse 14 na natin. Now we had to go through Samaria. So he came to a town in Samaria called Sikar, near the plot of ground Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about the sixth hour. Nakita niyo ba si Lord na pag, pag ihanpi ka talaga niya, talagang imimit ka niya. Sabi niya, sabi doon, parang kailangan-kailangan niya, may urgency na kailangan niya pumunta sa Samaria. Kasi mayroon doon ang babae na, di ba yung woman and the well, na kinatagpo niya, na I believe yung long ng babae na he is longing for God. That's why na si Jesus ay kinakailangan niya dumaan doon sa lugar na yon. Sino lang, pag, tina, pag tinignan natin itong chapter 4, siya lang ang minute ni Jesus at ito palang babae na ito is very, very strategic. Because she's the one that evangelized the whole town of Samaria after, after she encountered Jesus. After uh, her spiritual frequency was fine-tuned by, by having conversation with Jesus. So, uh, Jesus at the well. Pero ang, ang dynamic ni Jesus, konektado siya sa langit habang kausap niya yung babae. Hindi, hindi niya pinatulan ang mga, ang mga deliberation ng babae. Hindi niya pinatulan ang mga, ang mga contest ng babae. Na. Di ba nga, ang mga ninuno pa namin ang nagpatayo nitong et cetera, et cetera. Ang worshiper ay ganyan. Di ba, meron sila ng ng deliberation doon ng Panginoong Hesus pero Jesus tapped into supernatural revelation flow konektado siya sa langit kaya habang kausap niya ang babae ang flow ng revelation kay Jesus grabe kaya napa-fine tune niya ang frequency nitong babae na to hanggang na, nang ma-fine tune niya aha i perceive sabi ng babae nung spirit of understanding ay dumating sa kanya a revelation knowledge dumating sa kanya after she was been fine-tuned by the word that she was been heard through Jesus. So, ang operational dynamic dito ng Panginoon ay konektado sa kalangitan, sa source. Yet, He is already God. Pero ano ang pinakita? Nag-demonstrate siya ng pattern na ang pamumuhay sa earth pag ikaw ay builder in the spirit, pag tayo ay kingdom people, kingdom person, kailangan ang pamumuhay ay langit pero ang function sa earth. I hope I'm clear. So, we need to operate in the gifts of revelation and the gifts of the Holy Spirit while we are on, we are functioning, functioning on the earth. So, kailangan natin uh, magkaroon ng understanding that what we receive from heaven it is more than enough to build something on the ground according to what God has allowed us to build for or to build into. So all that God has is more than enough. Our source is God. We need to uh, kumbaga, all that God has is uh, for us is to is more than enough. More than enough sa mga pinabibuild niya sa atin, sa ating life. So, our source is God. We need to connect to God, to the supernatural flow of supply. When we are not accurately connected, mayroon tayo lagi ng lack. There is lack. Lack of wisdom, lack of understanding, lack of revelation. Pag kinulang na tayo sa revelation, there is chaos. Kaya mayroon na ng mga confusion, mayroon na naaatake na tayo ng mga wrong spirit and bad thoughts. So, connect to this uh, supernatural flow of supply, unlimited source who, that is God. Okay? When we tap into supernatural source, always remember, in the spiritual realm, it keeps our mind and body alert 
our energy is always on to high level. May strength. Nang tanggap na tanggap mo, ito. Or do not allow, do not allow other people wrong perception to to dictate yourself. So our perception of self must be what God says about us from now on. Ito dapat dito tayo pumosisyon. Your perception, my perception about me, about me, about you, must be what God says about us. Kasi pag derail tayo, pag inentertain mo ang, ang iba, nako, ito yung, ito yung klaseng frequency meron ang mundo. Very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Kaya hindi tayo dapat magpapatalo doon. If our mind is informed with the wrong source, wrong information, wrong words, then our perception of ourselves and others is wrong. So, become a builder in the spirit. So, uulitin ko, builder in the spirit is a kingdom workforce or heaven's work, workforce on the ground. Clear? In, uh, put it in a simple way. You are and I am. We are God's workforce on the ground. Agent of change. Pag sinabing uh, builder in the spirit. Bago tayo lumayo ay na-impress lang sa akin. Buksan natin ang Genesis chapter 3 verse 8. Mag-umpisa tayo sa 8. Genesis chapter 3. Kasi ito yung naging dilema ni Adam at saka ni Eve. Genesis chapter 3 verse 8. Umpisa tayo. Then the man, si Adam ito, and his wife, Eve, heard the sound of God. After the fall na ito ha. After na nung magkasala sila, after na nung nagkasala sila kay Lord. Uh, then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day and they hid from the Lord. From the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Sa 9. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? Ang tanong ngayon, hindi ba sila nakita ni Lord? Of course, nakita sila. And he answered, I heard you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid. And he said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, the woman you put here with me. So, uh, nag, nandoon na yung blaming game. Ang woman kasi, ang woman din, ang serpent kasi. Ang serpent wala nang maituro. Kawawa naman. <laughs> so, Nakita nyo yon ang perception ni Lord kay Adam and Eve sa man up, even after the fall is different but ang perception ni Adam sa nangyari sa kanila is different. So hindi tayo dun magsisettle. Kaya na, pag na wrong fine tuning tayo, pag naka-entertain tayo ng mga wrong thought, pat, wrong to, uh, thought, wrong words, nababago ang perception natin kung sino tayo. Na which is uh, hindi yun dapat. Ang perception lagi natin tungkol sa sa atin ay kung ano ang sinasabi ni Lord. Doon tayo dapat magposisyon. Klarado ba ito? Para walang derailment. Para walang sabotahe. Am I clear on this? Okay. So let's go on. Nasa foundation tayo ng building in the spirit. When we operate and posture ourselves as builder in the spirit, there is a supernatural grace in us and through us that flows to be able to bring down the tangible presence of God to where God, oh, God allows us to be. Pag, uh, ibig sabihin, pag nagbibuild, uh, pag builder tayo, or uh, when we operate, or when we posture ourselves as builder in the spirit, as God's workforce, as God's agent of change, there is a supernatural grace, flow of grace in us and through us. Bakit in us muna? Kasi tayo muna ang ipoform. We cannot build something on the ground if we ourselves is not built up. That is the principle. So, <clears throat> we became, sila, pa ulit-ulit natin ito, we became builders because we are already built up in such dimension, of course. Not perfect, 
but unto perfection. Marami pa tayong mga flaws ngayon, di ba? Ang dami pa nating mistake, kaya nga kailang, na more na kailang, kailangan natin ang Word at ang Holy Spirit. Kasi the more na na kikita natin madalas ang mga mistakes natin at saka ang mga wrong thing, ibig sabihin, the more na kailang, kailangan natin mag-pay sa Holy Spirit kasi nakikita ba natin ngayon na madali lang natin ngayon ma-identify, oh, ito yung dapat i-correct ko pa. Ups, ito yung dapat ko itama pa muna. Very, very sensitive na ang spirit natin at saka yung mind natin na ma-detect ma yung mga defect, yung mga character defect natin. Sabi ni Dr. Ton de Bakare, a defect in character can lost everything. Kaya ito yung binibuild sa atin ng Holy Spirit. Character of Christ. Character of Christ. Ang tatandaan, pag builder tayo ng spirit, ang mga salitang tinatanggap natin, build muna natin sa atin. Build muna natin. Si Jesus ang ating pattern. Okay? Let's look uh, Acts chapter 1. Tingnan natin sa Acts chapter 1. Uh, verse 1. Tingnan ko sa NLT version kung anong... I, I really get interested with this uh, Acts chapter 1. Kasi... Sinabi dito kung ano ang yung pattern na binigay sa atin ng Panginoong Yesus. Okay. Dear, dear sa me the message muna tayo, Acts chapter 1 verse 1. Dear Theophilos, in the first volume of this book, I wrote on everything that Jesus began to do and teach until the day he said goodbye to the apostles, the ones he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven. Klarado. Di na natin puntahan ang other version. Dito palang klarado na. Sabi niya, uh, in the first volume of this book, I wrote on everything that Jesus began to do first to do and teach. In other words, we cannot teach without doing it first in, a, in our lives. Until the day he said goodbye to the apostles, the ones he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven after his death. So doing first, doing by the word, doing the word first in our lives before we can teach it or build it to others. And uh, nakalagay din doon sa 1 John chapter 1. 1 John. Puntahan din natin para maliwanag sa atin lahat. 1 John chapter 1. <clears throat> One to four. We proclaim to you the one who existed from the beginning, whom we have heard and seen. We saw him with our own eyes and touched him with our own hands. He is the word of life. This one who is life itself was revealed to us and we have seen him. And now we testify and proclaim to you that he is the one who is eternal life. He was with the Father and then he was revealed to us. We proclaim to you that we ourselves have actually seen and heard so that you may have fellowship with us and our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that you may fully share our joy or uh, may be complete so that our joy may be complete. So, anong nakita, nakita nila na nagtestify sila, naramdaman nila na ang mga tinuturo ay word of life kasi may testimony at nakita na hihipo nila yung word sa pamamagitan ng lifestyle. Tama ba? So, ito yung magiging dynamic. Yun dapat ang uh, pag-uugali o karakter ng kingdom. Kasi alam nyo mga select arrow, people don't need sermons, especially in this season. Hindi kailangan ng tao ang mga sermons, lalo yung mga napagkakahaba. 
kayo nga, 'di ba, may mga dimension, hindi 'di ba, ang mga pagkakahabang sermons, they don't need it. What they need is the tangible presence of God that can change them for better, for a better life, for uh, giving them hope because we are in a declining situation, in a hopeless situation. Hindi sermon ang kailangan nila. Ang kailangan nila, ang lagi nating sinasabi, a tangible presence of God, uh, a tangible testimony by our living, the way we live, the way we speak, back up with the way we live na alam nila na may Diyos dahil nakita sa iyo at nakita sa akin alam nila na makapangyarihan ng Diyos kasi nakita nila sa iyo nakita nila sa akin nakita sa ating lahat so tangible presence of God that can give them hope and bring them into the future which God uh, intended them to be yun ang kailangan nila a, a tangible manifestation of the word who is God okay yun ang ang kailangan ngayon ng mundo. Kaya nga, builder in the spirit, ito yung forming Christ in us first para makita nila kahit hindi ka na mag-preach. Ramdam nila, kita nila that you really carry Christ. The way you speak, the way you do things which is right beyond worldly materials, beyond worldly wisdom, is different from the rest you you carry a superior things so don't makikita nila yun ang character na builder in the spirit because the long alam nyo ba pag saturated tayo ng presence ni lord the longer the people stay under the this spiritual atmosphere the, this presence of god the greater the change and accelerated progress takes place kasi ang atmosphere has something to do with the, what what they carry. Yung spiritual atmosphere, kung imagine mo kung ang isang panambahan, a place of worship, imagine nyo, place of worship. Halimbawa may 20 katao doon. Ang stature nila is super talagang namang ang carry nilang Christ is to the highest level. Not, not yet the fullness, but to the highest level. Imagine yung frequency and saturation point mayroon ang, ang lugar na yun. It will for sure overflow. It will for sure overflow. Yung isa nga eh, yung isa nga na may carry na dimension of Christ, may nangyayari. How much more kung 20 o 50 na may Christ-likeness ang mag-ipon-ipon? Na anong impact meron? sa place of assignment. 'Di ba napaka na, nakikita niyo ba ang nakikita ko? Ibig sabihin na nararamdaman niyo ba nakikita niyo ba ang sinasabi ko na uh, pag na may saturation point na tinatawag. So something supernatural takes place that affects behavior and emotions. Affects the behavior of people, even the emotion it will be affected, it will be affected their spirits are going to be developed and activated and stirred up. And their spirit would pick up things in the, on heavenly realms on a higher frequency. Their spiritual frequency would be fine-tuned and they, will, they would know how to rise up higher in the dimension of the spirit. Then, then al alam nyo bang mangyayari pa pag uh, expose sila sa ganitong sa saturation point, they will never want to settle for anything less pag uh, nandun tayo sa saturation point. So, expect that there will be an outbreak of the miraculous and supernatural when saturation point is rich. Uh, alam na natin, di ba, sa, 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 pag sinaming saturation point, yung boiling point. Di ba, pag nagpapakulo tayo ng tubig, okay, imagine niyo ako, lahat na kasi kayo percolator, di ba? So, mag magpakulo, halimbawa mag, uh, mag uh, gagawa ng pasta o magluluto ng pasta. Pag nagpapakulo ng tubig, di ba? Uh, sa una, wala, bula-bula ng konti, bula-bula ng konti, hanggang uh, malakas na ang bula, malakas na ang pressure, hanggang saturation point na tinatawag yung boiling point. Am I right? Sa mga estudyante? So, pag sinabing boiling point, Imagine niyo yung boiling point of Christ likeness. Anong merong result on earth? 
Hindi ba marirestored ang earth? Hindi ba marirestored ang domain? Kasi halimbawa sa education domain, na kung saan may grace tayo doon, sa business domain, o sa family domain, anong klase, pag dumating na sa saturation point, anong klaseng frequency ang maibababa, ang maisi-send out, at ang makakapick up nito? Uh, di, di ba yung frequency nga na yung mga high notes sa pelikula, di ba? Pag mayroon na mga high note na babasag ang mga glass, nakikita niyo yung mga comedy na yun na, na uh, do you know do you know what I mean? Okay, relatable ba ako? <laughs> so na, alam niyo yung halimba sa mga pelikula na pag hinit ang high note, high note sa mga singer natin sila uh, Chloe and Andre, pag hinit ang high note sa mga pelikula na to the point na yung mga tin glasses ay nagpuputukan. That kind of frequency. Imagine mo, oh, eh, imagine niyo kung bumaba yung saturation point ng frequency of heaven. Ano klasing earth magkakaroon? Di ba itong earth na ito hindi ba kaya ito marestore? Ito kaya ang di ba? Without the shadow of the doubt, why why we limit God in our own perspective? Kaya nga just. Lord, I am surrendering all unto you. I would never allow my own perspective to judge myself. I would never interrupt to what is your intention about about my life. Do not interrupt. Ang nagpapara interrupt ng mga intention ni Lord sa buhay natin na na late tayo. Ngayon we can never we couldn't afford to be late. Kasi iba na ang panahon ngayon. So, pace with the Holy Spirit. Pace with the Holy Spirit. Nakuha ba natin, nakuha ba natin yun? So, pag may saturation point, talimbawa sa church, pag may saturation point, hindi pwedeng walang impartation ng Holy Spirit sa buhay natin. Because when there is saturation point of heavenly things, of the superior things, of the, what is divine, involved ang Holy Spirit ngayon. Di ba? Siya ang in charge sa church kingdom. Involved lagi ang Holy Spirit. So, there is Holy Ghost impartation. There, there is uh, uh, changes of lives. There is, uh, kahit hindi na ilehans ang mga tao, may nangyayari. Dahil, nandun ang Holy Spirit. Miracles happen. Healing is there. And when we live in a saturation point of heaven uh, dimension, mayroon nang mangyayari, hindi pwedeng wala. Kaya nga, ang kailangan lang ni Lord is the interface, which is you and me, na maging accurate tayo sa lahat ng bagay. Okay, klarado ba yun? Ang tagal ng, ano, no? tagal ng introduction natin. Gusto ko kasi maliwanag, ano ba ang building in the spirit? Uh, ako naman ay naniniwala na maliwanag na sa inyo ang interface. Tama? So, kanina diniskas namin sa devotion namin, family devotion namin, diniskas namin yung interface. Sino ba ang makapag... Ate Joan, can I request you to uh, discuss the inter... Oh, I-clear lang natin ang interfacing para may equalization tayo. Same page tayo sa so, didiscussin natin. Same page tayo at same uh, mindset. Opo, nandito na ang timer ko. <laughs> Quarter to three na daw. Opo, I'm aware baba. Kasi may uh, tinabi ko yung cellphone at pinipindot ko yung oras. Uh, can I request Ate Joanne to discuss the interfacing? Ito yung topic namin kanina sa... Isa ito sa topic namin kanina sa family devotion. Kasi para ma, magkaroon tayo ng understanding ano bang ba interfacing? Paano ba tayo mag-interface ng heavens... Uh, activity on the ground. Hindi pwede kasi tayo malate ngayon na may acceleration nangyayari. Grabe ang activity sa spirit dimension tapos tayo wala lang. Oh my God! Ito yung aking stress. Ito yung stress. Stress talaga ako doon. Pag uh, alam na alam ko, oh, grabe yung activity sa parang uh, perceive na perceive Perceive na perceive ko na ang grabe ang activity sa spirit dimension tapos ang select araw wala lang ginagawa. May stress talaga ako noon. Pero hindi naman yun ang totoo, di ba? May ginagawa naman kayong lahat, di ba? It's just for the sake of uh, explaining to you one thing. So, Ate Joanne, please explain 
kahit alam na nila ulit yung interfacing. Thank you. Okay. Use illustration if necessary. Okay po. So, um, if you check the dictionary, interface means a point where two systems or subjects or organization meet and interact. So, that's in short, it's the middle ground or the middle. But interface in, our, in the context of what we're learning right now is basically, I'll give an example with the three of us. So Joshua would like to send something to Joseph, but he cannot do it directly due to some reason. But COVID. I can, not, not COVID, but <laughs> anyways, I could interact with the both of them separately. So what Joshua would do is he would send the message he intended for Joseph through me. So in our case, interface, the church is the interface between heaven and earth. Heaven cannot just go directly and, you know, invade the earth, but the church is needed as an interface to, yeah. because the church can access both heaven and earth. So they will, we will access the heavens, take what is needed for the earth and bring it down. That is interface. Amen. Yeah, Okay, clear. Select arrows. So, ikaw at ako ang interface. Ang interface. A privilege. A privilege. Because we can uh, access both heaven and earth. Pero hindi naman agad, ag, hindi, pwede ni Lord ibubuhos o ibibigay ang intention niya directly to the earth without the church. Na gets? So, bilang part of the body of Christ as His church, kailangan uh, tayo ay interface ni Lord sa mga ibibuild niya on earth, sa mga gagawin niya on the earth. Kaya privilegio ito. To become an interface, kailangan may same perspective tayo. Kasi pag hindi, baka mali ang ating mensahe papunta doon dito sa earth. Baka mayroon ng uh, uh, misalignment o disalignment. Kaya kailangan, we need to become accurate, so accurate na pag narinig natin ang instruction ni Lord, immediately according to what He desire, according to His will, His way. Kasi ang kadalasan, interface tayo, yes, narinig natin kay Lord, pero in-implement natin according to our ways. That is inaccuracy and contaminated already. So kailangan according to his word, according to his ways, according to his wisdom, according to his will, according to him, labas tayo. Tayo lang ang uh, executor, executor, legislator. Nakukuha natin. So ganun ang magiging, ganun ang trabaho natin. Umpisahan na natin ngayon 'yan. I-practice na natin ngayon. Since as long as we are under a proper chain of authority and connected to this dimension, you, we are safe. So we need to learn how to access heaven, uh, uh, heavenly realms. Kasi doon natin kukunin ang resources and then implement sa earth. Okay? Uh, I hope klarado naman yun sa atin. So, three o'clock na. Puumpisahan ko sana pala ang purpose of builders in the spirit. <laughs> Anyway, so maliwanag sa atin ang Builders in the Spirit, right? So next Saturday, mag-umpisa tayo sa uh, purpose of Builders in the Spirit. Why God is raising Builders in the Spirit? So, bakit kailangan ni Lord mag-raise up ng Builder in the Spirit? Um, bakit kailangan natin maging accurate? So, mapag-aaralan na natin ito. So, oh, oh, samantalahin ko yung ilang minuto. Number one, sa purpose of builders in the Spirit, to intensify the move of the Holy Spirit in the particular place of your assignment. To intensify the move of the Holy Spirit in that particular place of your assignment or jurisdiction or domains. To intensify the move of the Holy Spirit in the part in one particular or in that particular place of your assignment, of your jurisdiction, or of your domain. Because we should never cross boundary. We have, we must observe laws of the Spirit, or laws, uh, kingdom laws, kingdom protocol and procedure. This 
means, or in other words, to become a capitalist is instigate, is stirring up, or intensify, spark a greater fire in the environment and could change atmosphere as well. So it means builders in the spirit knows how to intensify the move of God. We need to intensify God's move. So when we hit the right thing, when we hit the right frequency in the spirit, something is about to break out open on the ground. Parang ganun ang understanding natin. So when we hit something, when we hit the right thing, the right frequency in the spirit, something is about to break open on the ground. So don't be soulless, don't be emotional. Instead, be easily overcome by God's move and touch in uh, and touch in our lives. So ito yung <clears throat> itatrabahuin natin. Inumpisahan ko ang number one para malakaran na natin ito this week. Don't let our soul behave heavy. It cannot be ignited. Pag ang soul natin is heavy, it cannot be ignited by the move of the Holy Spirit. It cannot be touched if our mind and thoughts is untrained. So, na, 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 nasasabutahi ang dapat natin ma-receive pag soulless tayo nag-operate. Yung emotional, yung soulless realm, but rise up in the spirit, okay? Rise up in the spirit. So, ito yon. One of the purpose of builders in the spirit is to intensify the move of the Holy Spirit in the particular place or area, especially our place of assignment, our jurisdiction, or our domain. So, kayo ngayon mga select araw, ano ang domain nyo ngayon? Your family. Your, your sa education, sa klase nyo. Learn how to govern spirits in that domain. Ano sa bahay nyo is the domain, okay? Pero be under a proper chain of authority. Si na, daddy, ma, ma, nanay, tatay, mami, mama, papa, sila ang uh, people above us. Ang honor intact at accurate. Hindi dapat ma-violate yan. Kasi wala ding mangyayari because in the kingdom, there are protocols. One of it is to honor mommy and daddy. To respect mommy and daddy. Hindi porque alam na natin ang mga bagay na ito and we have the right to dishonor them. No, we are already sabotaged by uh, thinking such ways. So, ayos natin ito, okay? Ako naman sa iba naniniwala na settle na ang bagay na ito. Your honor is intact. Your respect is intact. Learn how to negotiate honorably pag hindi nagmamatch ang perception, ang perspective. Learn how to negotiate honorably with respect, with honor, no wrong thing. Kasi detect na detect yan sa spirit dimension kapag may wrong thing tayo. At ano yan, advantage yan ng enemy sa buhay natin. Okay? So, let's continue next uh, meeting about the purpose of builder in the spirit. Okay? Regards sa mga mga mommy and daddy, regards sa mga taga-Pilipinas, my uh, regards and love are uh, sent out to you. Ang hug and kisses natin ngayon, lahat virtual. <laughs> so, bye for now.